Sinclair Community College is helping students fill a critical need in the fight against COVID-19. Two News reporter Madeline Ashley talked with students fighting the coronavirus as respiratory therapists. From the classroom to the front lines of the pandemic, this has become a reality for many Sinclair College students who want to help save lives during these uncertain times. Jason Turner loves what he does. I couldn't be more proud to be a respiratory therapist and um, really enjoy doing the job, even though despite all the, the pandemic and stress, but we're going to get through it. The Sinclair Community College alum says the pandemic front lines haven't been easy. Throughout the holidays and fall into winter, it was um, extremely challenging as the volume was increasing along with the other care that we had provided with our traumatic injuries. Uh, other illnesses that are non-related to COVID. They have done a great job stepping up to the plate uh, and making sure that patient care uh, and safety comes first. Turner says the coronavirus is hard on many patients' lungs. It creates a pneumonia that's very difficult to manage and treat, especially in a critical care setting and on the, when patients become on the ventilator. Because of the virus, the respiratory field is in high demand. We had a national shortage of respiratory care practitioners, uh, not only statewide, but nationwide as well. Uh, the pandemic only made that worse. The U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics estimates a 90% increase in respiratory therapists by 2029. And certainly we do our very best to provide um, as much training as we can on not only operating uh, as, a health, as a healthcare practitioner, but also doing it safely. Turner encourages people to join the front lines. We, we really need everybody's help and coming in as a respiratory therapist, you're going to get um, position yourself for experience pretty rapidly. We're going to be here for any new therapist and any new graduate. Uh, we work well as a team, and we're going to be here for every one of them. In Dayton, Madeline Ashley, 2 News Working for you.